Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you a little tutorial on how to kind of add some backlight into your images. And this is just a disclaimer, I wouldn't uh, recommend you do this all the time. Um, it's just kind of fun to know how to do it and sometimes your camera doesn't pick up the backlight like you're seeing it when you're taking the photo. So it's nice to be able to add a little bit in. Um, so I'm going to show you on this image that I took of Hannah Voiles. I'll show you how I took it from this to this. It's just a whole lot warmer um, and here's a side-by-side -side comparison um, but you can just see that in this one it's pretty dark. Um, I would bring up the exposure a little bit but it's kind of dark and um, it's just not very warm like it was when I was taking the picture so it was nice to be able to use this to add in a little bit of warmth back here and you might think that um, when you add the temperature to the image that it'll make it warmer but what it often tends to do is make the subject's face much too warm and I didn't want to make Hannah look like an Oompa Loompa so <laughs> that that was definitely not the goal here okay so what I did um, this is what it looked like before I added the um, before I um, added the gradient to make the background warmer uh, it'll work here in just a minute maybe There we go. Okay, so if you can kind of see that, I'll open this up so it's bigger. Okay, so this was um, when I added the gradient, but this is what it looked like before. So this is, I mean, her face is pretty warm, um, and I didn't want to move the temperature up any more because um, I didn't want her to be orange. So adding the backlight was a nice way to uh, really warm it up. So here's how I did that. Um, let's see, we'll go over here to the gradient tool and <coughs> excuse me the gradient tool it just kind of looks like a little square with these little dots around it um, so you'll click on it and I already have a setting for it but I'll, I'll show you how to do it um, if you don't have the setting okay so make sure all of your settings are set to zero um, it, that's you really don't need to use any of these settings for the only one that you're going to use is this one called color so you'll click on it and you'll just kind of pick whatever color you want um, and for the backlight I would suggest picking a color that's more orangey kind of like this one um, I mean but if you really wanted to go with something that's fun and whimsical you could always do a purple or a pink or yeah I don't know you can just do whatever you want um, so I usually pick something that's right around in here kind of an orangey uh, golden orange um, and then you can save it so so that you don't always have to go back and find that exact color. Um, so then you click here on custom right here and save current settings as new preset and you can type in whatever you want. Mine, I've already used that one so um, but then you would just click create and then you go under here and you find the different um, different gradients that you can use. So um, here's one that I have for backlight and then all you have to do, it's really, really simple. You go outside of the image and you just click and drag. And you see how it makes it really warm? Um, so what I like to do is bring the middle one right here about where I like it to be and then move it forwards. And see it makes Hannah's face really, really orange so we don't want that. So then you grab the, um, the first line again and you pull it back. Just like that. And it makes some nice rim lighting around her hair right here. And you can just keep doing that until um, you get the desired desired colors that you want. Um, so yeah, it's just a, a kind of fun tool to play with that some people don't really know about. Um, and again, you can just kind of play with it until you get what you want. And it's a, a good way to make the background nice and warm so that you don't have to um, <laughs> make your subjects look really, really orange. But anyway, I hope this helps some of you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if it did. And I hope you all have a great day.